Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new, I am a stay-at-home mom to three. I also wanna thank Armorall for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And today, I'm gonna to take you along with me and we are together going to get some things done around the house. It's gonna be like a productive kind of day in the life. We are in one of the busiest seasons of life right now. We have three kids ages five and under and we just listed our house, this one, on the market and it has been a wild weekend of showings, open houses. I think the biggest challenge for us has been keeping our house clean with three small kids. So first, before we could even list it, we had to get our house super, super clean so we could take the pictures and they did drone footage. And then a couple days later, we listed the house and again, we had to have the house spotless for showings. We had multiple showings per day. And so what we did was we just kept the kids kind of out of the house. We went over to my mom's house. We had like church events and things like that. My house is actually fairly clean as far as like deep cleaning goes. I'm really feeling motivated to keep it super clean. I also want to apologize for my hair. I know it's looking a little bit like a grease ball. Um, I am kind of going through a hair loss journey and I might talk about it a little bit later in this video, but um, it's kind of heartbreaking every time I go to wash my hair. So I try and go as long as I can between washes and this is the result. <laughs> but I am on, I think the upswing of my hair loss journey. I, it's still falling out, but I have been working with a doctor and I think we are kind of getting back on track as far as just me knowing what's going on in my body, what could potentially be causing all of the issues that I've been having. I'll go into it a little bit later in the video. I wanna get us going on our productive day, uh, but stay tuned for that if you're interested. I know I'm not the only person who's going through hair loss and just other you know, health issues. So maybe if I can help somebody or at least encourage you that you're not alone, I'll share that a little bit later in the video. First thing I wanna do is make a list of everything that I wanna get done. That way I know exactly what I wanna get done and I don't do things that aren't important and are not on my list. So I first want to, actually I first need to water my garden. I've been doing really good except for this past weekend when I was just so busy I kept forgetting to water my garden. So we'll go out there and see if there's anything ready to harvest. I think I have some green beans and tomatoes that I know of maybe some peppers as well. I know that I want to go out to my car and wipe it all down. The inside is cleaned and vacuumed. I just never got a chance to wipe the interior down, so I wanna do that. I need to tidy up the kitchen. It's looking pretty good, but I just wanna like tidy it up. I've been loving having my countertops cleaned off. That's been great. I have a load of towels that I need to fold. Oh. I will show you, but I have some flour that I need to store and I got some food grade five gallon buckets as well as some gamma lids. And so I need to deal with that flour. Um, and then I also need to go to the grocery store. So maybe I'll show you a little grocery haul and then we're gonna cook dinner. I'll show you what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. And we have to get all of that done at a decent time because I have church tonight and so we have to leave here around like five. So I think that's a pretty good list so far. As I see stuff, as I think of things, oh, I need to put some diapers away. As I think of things, then I might add them to my list. But for now, I think that's a pretty good start. First thing on the list that we're gonna get done today is wiping down the car. All right, so now I'm in my car and I'm going to wipe down the interior, the leather, and I'm gonna clean the glass. So I have three children and we do some damage to a car. It is dirty all the time. And so I love to come in here and clean out the car, get all the trash out, vacuum it, and then give it a really good wipe down. And my favorite products to use are Armorall's products. Today I'm going to use the Extreme Shield Plus Ceramic Glass Cleaner. It's treatment and cleaner all in one. And then this is the Armor All Extreme Shield Plus Ceramic Leather Treatment and Cleaning Wipes. Both of these work so good for cleaning cars. So these leather cleaning wipes act as kind of like a, a barrier to help repel dirt and grime 
Also, it makes it easier to clean. The ceramic technology helps to protect your leather against liquids and stains and it lasts for weeks. It's safe for heated seats. It's safe to use these on any color of leather and also it won't like compromise the look or the feel of your leather and it just helps your leather stay clean longer. This spot right here, the seat, is where my youngest son sits in his car seat rear facing. So his feet are up against this all of the time, his grubby little toes. I notice a significant difference when I don't use these Armor All wipes because these have that protective barrier, that ceramic technology that lasts several weeks. There's such a difference when I don't use these. It's a lot darker on this leather after he's been sitting here for a little while. Okay, so now that the leather's all clean, I'm gonna use this to clean the glass. And this also has that ceramic technology which helps provide an invisible barrier which helps repel water and helps your glass stay clean longer. There's more to this than just being an awesome glass cleaner. It also has harsh weather protection it helps to keep your windshield wipers from collecting icy buildup. It works all the way down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. This cleaner is completely streak free and it lasts for weeks. All right, car is all clean. So now we can check that off our list. Y'all should pick up the Armor All Extreme Shield Plus Ceramic Glass Treatment and Cleaner, and you should pick up the Armor All Extreme Shield Plus Ceramic Leather Treatment and Cleaner Wipes and Everyday Proof Your Car. All right, the car is all wiped out now, and so now I'm going to head out into the garden and water it. I have to come down stairs. I'm, this is our basement right here. Um, and then up here is our deck where my garden is. So I have to come down here to turn the water on in order to water up on the deck. I just threw the hose up there. These vertical planters have been quite a challenge for me. I have definitely made a lot of mistakes, but I've learned from every single one of them. So I'm really happy with, I mean, how well they've survived. <laughs> I had the biggest issues figuring out watering. I found out I was definitely under watering. So what I've been doing is just every single morning before 8 a.m., it's not 8 a.m. right now, it's 10 a.m. but. Normally, I water them every single morning before 8 a.m. And that has seemed to help a lot. I've also had to use some miracle Grow organic fertilizer um, to just put some nutrients back in because I have really packed these up and there's a lot of plants in them and they have just sucked all of that great um, compost that I put in there. But let me show you some of the things that are growing right now and then we'll harvest some of them. These have been fantastic for my purposes this year. I haven't been able to plant a garden because we knew we were gonna be moving. And so this has just given me the opportunity to still garden and learn and harvest some veggies even though we don't have like an in-ground garden, which is my end goal, but this has been great so far. I think next year when I do have an in-grown garden, because I'm just speaking positive vibes about that, I am going to still use these and I think I'll either do herbs or I've heard strawberries grow really, really well in these. So in this one, I have cucumbers, which I don't know if they'll do any good. I have like little cucumbers growing back there. 
but for the most part, not really doing super good. But then I have green beans that have done really well. So here's a green bean that I'll be able to harvest today. Um, all of these. So green beans do really good. This is a bush variety of green bean. See all those growing in there. We have some peppers. These are banana peppers, so they're probably ready to go. This is a goat horn pepper and it has to turn red. This tomato plant died, which I'm super sad about, but look how gorgeous these are. I actually have a couple inside and I plan on saving the seeds from them. These are an heirloom variety. It's called Mocha's Black Cherry and they're a lot bigger to me than a cherry tomato, but um, this is a compact bush and I really want to be able to use these or grow these again. This plant came from my next door neighbor and I don't know it just feels really special to be able to save the seeds from the plant that she gave me even though we won't be next door to each other anymore. Um, it's just kind of like a sentimental thing so I don't know though since the plant died if it's like diseased and if those seeds will be diseased I'll have to do some more research but um, that'd be really cool to save those seeds. Here this cherry tomato plant is just thriving. It's um, kind of a little funky but it's just producing so many cherry tomatoes which is our grape tomatoes I'm not sure which ones these are but the I'm really happy with that um, jalapenos have been doing fantastic the they're just thriving which is amazing and then this is a bell pepper it's a yellow so I'll let it turn yellow eggplant doing really good some tomatoes over here this one should be turning soon all right so I think I'm going to go ahead and harvest some green beans find them again Ooh, there's a bee. oh the Japanese beetles are awful right now they are awful So here is what we were able to harvest today. Like I said, it's not a ton that I ever get at one time out of my garden, but it's something and I think it's fun. This will be enough, you know, to cook up and add to dinner or whatever. And I do want to make cowboy candy out of these jalapenos, so I'm kind of waiting until I have enough to do that. And then this mint, I don't recommend doing mint or oregano in a green stock. Mint and oregano are invasive plants and they will take over. So right here is some mint growing in this empty pocket right here. But the mint plant, the mint plant is all the way on this side right here. So it's kind of grown through and come over onto this side. So I'm trying to cut it back, but I will not do that again. Mint and oregano need to be in their own containers or own area of the yard. But it is fun to have it. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this mint. Maybe we'll make some uh, mock mojitos or something. This mint smells so good. It's so strong. I'll have to figure out what to do with it. Y'all let me know what your favorite thing to do is with mint. I have so much of it. It grows so well and so fast. But I don't really know what to do with it. So let me know if you guys have any ideas or what you guys do with it. Okay, so I'm in from my garden, and I am going to now tidy up this kitchen. It's really not that bad, but I do wanna have all of the countertops cleared off. I have been taking certain supplements based off of what I need for my own individual body. Uh, and so after I eat breakfast, I try and eat some kind of fat with my breakfast, and then I take my vitamin D with magnesium my vitamin D was low so I'm trying to get that back up so I'm gonna take these really quick and then we're gonna tackle the kitchen
wanted to show y'all what the kitchen looks like before I mess it up again. It's nice and tidy now. Oh, let me show you these eggs. My mother-in-law now gets her eggs from someone here locally and she shared a dozen of them with us. But these eggs are gorgeous and I'm so excited. I like nerd out about this stuff. But these eggs have never been washed. And so if you don't wash your eggs after they come out of, <laughs> come out of the chicken, then you can leave them on the countertop for a little while. So these are just sitting here right back there. We've already had one. It was delicious. And I, it's so funny. I keep doing double takes. Every time I walk into the kitchen, I'm not used to seeing our eggs sitting on the counter. Usually they're in the fridge. So every time I see it, I kind of do this like double take and almost panic and think, Oh no, I left the eggs out, but these ones don't have to be refrigerated. I love that. A goal of mine is to have my own chickens and my own eggs. That's hopefully in our near future, if we can find some land. Another goal of mine is to have a massive garden and have tons and tons of produce come um, ripe at the same, like around the same time so that I can preserve that food. I would love to get into canning. That's something that I've always been interested in. I've never really done any of that, but I would love to just have cans and cans of homegrown food that I have grown and then put up in canning jars and I would love to get into like learning how to preserve seeds so that I could use them again next year and again next year. So these are all like long-term goals but hopefully like short long-term goals if that makes sense. But yeah that would be so much fun for me I think. And I even have one more goal that I will get into when I start dealing with my extra flour that I need to put in those five gallon buckets. Okay, next we are gonna go into the living room and I'm gonna fold up those towels. I would like to get that knocked off the list, the diapers off the list, and then I think we'll deal with the flour. Okay, so the last thing we are gonna do is I'm gonna fill up this five gallon bucket with all the flour that I have. So let me set my camera down because my arm is getting tired. So a long, I say long term, but like kind of near future long term goal of mine, this is my third goal, is to have five gallon buckets filled with like bulk food storage type situation. So rice, beans, flours, oats, things like that, like extra baking soda, salt. I wanna start cooking more from scratch, but I also just wanna have more bulk food storage. So um, I was inspired by Becky from Acre Homestead. She is my favorite YouTuber to watch. And she just moved into a house and designated like a whole wall of her basement to, she calls it her grocery store in the basement. I love, anyways. Um, so it's gonna definitely take some time. It's not gonna happen overnight. So my first step is just to get my flour into a five gallon bucket. 
I have, I think, five five gallon buckets. These lids, I've heard, come in really handy. These are gamma lids. Let me turn down the brightness so you can see them better. This is a gamma lid. So these buckets come with a, a lid that you just, I think you kind of have to hammer it on. And then you have to use something to pry it off. And I've heard it's a hassle if they're your work, working buckets where you're getting stuff out of it all the time. So I got these gamma lids and all you have to do You press this on to the top of the bucket and then this lid just twists on and off. It's airtight and it's pest proof. So I'm very excited. These are hard to come by. Andrew and I have been on the lookout for them for a long time. You can't really order them online. They're out of stock. Um, but we do know that like our tractor supply sells them. We just could never catch it when they were in stock. But we finally got, I got three of them. So I'll keep trying to collect some more. But anyways here's all the flour that I have there's two bags back there and then this big bag right here I got these from Costco I like to make sourdough and so I go through a lot of flour so I buy big bags of it from Costco this is another thing I would like to start doing is grinding my own wheat berries to make bread fresh bread um, I've heard there's a lot of health benefits to grinding your own wheat so that's something that I would like to start doing too. And when I do, I'm going to order through Azure Standard. That's a great place I've heard to buy food in bulk. Um, you can also buy like raw cheese and things like that. Okay, so I have completely washed and dried my bucket and my gamma lid and they are ready to pour the flour. I feel like this is gonna get messy. I'm hoping I can get all three bags in here. Right now it's filled up almost halfway and that's just one bag of flour. So um, that's what it looks like. This makes me giddy excited. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this forever. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm gonna put this down on the floor. I think it'll be a little easier that way. to hammer this on. Whew. Perfect. Look at that. Yes, we did it. I'm a newbie, but I'm having fun. And just like that, we have our first five gallon bucket filled all the way to the top with bulk food. All right, y'all, so I think that's gonna be it for today's video. We got some stuff done today and that feels really good. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today on this very productive day. We have so much exciting stuff coming up with moving and all of that. I can't wait until like everything's finalized, official, and I can explain things to you. That's gonna be fun. Um, so stay tuned for all of that. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those videos. Turn on your notifications and things like that. You can also follow me on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch. And there I share more like behind the scenes stuff, day to day things. Um, so if you want to like get information faster, then you can go follow me over there. I am so happy y'all were here to hang out with me today. That was a lot of fun. I appreciate you taking the time to click on this video and hang out with me. It always means so much. I will see you in the comments of this video and um, oh make sure you check out arm roll those products and i think that's it all right i love y'all and i will see you in the next one bye